Welcome back guys. I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 4.58 and the statement of this question is the total time measured in units of 100 hours that a teenager runs her hair dryer over a period of one year is a continuous random variable x that has the density function which has been written here as f of x equal to x for the range of x greater than 0 and less than 1. Similarly, it is 2 minus x for the range x is greater or equal to 1 and less than 2 and 0 elsewhere. Okay, so we have to use theorem 4.6 to evaluate the mean of the random variable y equal to 60x square plus 39x where y is equal to the number of kilowatt hours expanded annually. Okay, so now here we have this transform random variable and here to form the values of it let me solve it here the solution of it will be started from here so here to find the expected value of y we have to do what we have to do expected of y is 60x square plus 39 x okay so this is what we want to find out in order to use the previous theorems what would we get from it we would get 60 expected of x square plus 39 expected value of x okay so this is what this is the formula for finding the expected value of y and this is what we will utilize here okay so this is the formula which will be utilized here now in order to find it out what are the required things which we want to find here the required items here are e of x square and e of x so let me write them here okay so writing them here what would we get the expected value of x equal to something and expected value of x square okay so now in order to find them out here it would be what it would be the integration from certain limit which is from 0 to 2 because within this limit all these values are known and out of this limit the value is 0 okay so let me use it and it would be from 0 to 2 x of f of x dx okay and for e of x square we would have what it would be the similar one 0 to 2 x square f of x d of x okay so let me put all these values but before putting the values we know that for the range of 0 to 1 the value is x and for the range from 1 to 2 it is 2 minus x let me put these ranges here and it would become what from 0 to 1 it would be x multiplied by f of x and the value of x f of x is x and d of x okay similarly 0 1 to 2 it would be x multiplied by 2 minus x d of x okay so this is for expected value of x let me find it out first and then we will go to e x square okay so here it would become 0 to 1 x square d of x plus 1 to 2 and multiplying it inside what would i get it would be 2 x minus x square okay this is the overall and d of x okay let me move down somehow so here we would get what it would be from 0 to 1 uh, so let me first simplify them and then i will evaluate them by using the integration and similarly here it would become 1 to 2 2x d of x minus 1 to 2 x square d of x
so here finding the integral of each of them we would get x cube divided by 3 from 0 to 1 okay here it would be 2 into x square divided by 2 from 1 to 2 and minus it would be x cube divided by 3 1 to 2 these two will cancel out okay and here out of all of them we would get what let me move down somehow okay so here it would be putting limit here i will get here 1 by 3 plus putting limit here what i will get it will be 2 square minus 1 square so it will be 3 minus it will be 1 by 3 and multiplying it 8 minus 1 is 7 okay putting all these values here it would become uh, 1 by 3 and all this the lcm of it is 3 here i will get 1 plus 3 3 9 and here we will have 7 okay so it would become what it would become 1 plus 9 is 10 minus 3 though this would be 3 by 3 so ultimately it would become 1 so the value of e of x is what this is found to be 1 okay now after it let me separate out it okay so this is separated out in order to find the value of e of x square let me move it here okay so it would be what e of x square is equal to 0 to 2 again the values of it are from 0 to 1 it is what it is f of x is x d of x and also from 1 to 2 this is the x square which is here and the value of f of x is 2 minus x dx okay so after solving it like we did previously it is 0 to 1 x cube d of x plus 1 to 2 it would become what it would be 2 x square d of x minus 1 to 2 x cube d of x okay or ultimately we would get x of 4 divided by 4 0 to 1 plus 2 multiplied by x cube divided by 3 it would be from 1 to 2 minus x 4 divided by 4 from 1 to 2 okay so solving it out putting all those values what would i get the answer of it would be 7 by 6 which is the value for e of x square okay so this is what this is the value for the e of x square let me underline it and these are the values which are known which are known so now let us take them and put them inside our main formula so so the main formula is here which is this one so let me take these values and putting the values here so 60 multiplied by e of x square is 7 by 6 okay plus 39 multiplied by 1 okay so it would be 60 10 so the answer of it would be expected value of y would become 70 plus 39 so it is 109 which is the answer of the question which i was doing and this is what this is the value of e of y okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have solved question 5.5 4.58 and here we have seen that how to formulate the strategy to find out the expected value of the transformed variable in the continuous random variable so if you have any question 
you can ask me in the comment box see you soon